All right, guys. Well, this is the probably 1950s, maybe mid-50s Frigidaire Unimatic. Not much to see on the control panel. It's got the timer for the wash time, spin, rinse, fill, dry, push to reset. This is your water temperature, hot. Is the middle cold, Bob? Yes. Middle is cold and then warm is up. And then it looks like this got this indicator light, which is pretty cool. This is a timed fill washer. So it just fills for a specific amount of time. This washer, Bob and I actually did some work to it. It had a, uh, the water pump was pretty rotted out on it. And so I took the pump and had it sandblasted and kind of just did some, uh, did some magic to it and was able to get it going again. And it also was another thing with uh, some cooling fan on the motor that was rattling around. And I think we ended up putting a bushing or something like that and making it pretty quiet. So anyways, this load is going to be, it's gonna be like a load of whites, but it's not gonna be whites. It's going to be um, just, a bunch, just a bunch of clothes that we could put in hot water. So we wanna do kind of full loads with this machine and we'll see how it works out. So if I just, you want your clothes clean? Yeah, I mean okay. something, something in between there. I don't All know. All right, you're gonna about. take off the rubber cap if you're gonna film this. You're gonna take the rubber cap up and pour that down in. Uh, down in here. That rubber cap on top of the agitator. Okay, that is pretty cool. It just lifts right off? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool, you put it in here. Right. Huh. I, I glued that down because I thought it was going to fly off, and then when I Robert see. Seeger rebuilt the washer, he had a fit. You don't do that. You got to put the soap in there. I got to clean that up for you one day, Bob. All right, so this is it, so what we're going to do. Oh, so that's like an appropriate amount. And we just dump it in? Yeah, and put the cap back in. Just close in the tub. It's yeah, so yeah, no. In the tub. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. Vintage refrigerator in this spot so they can have a cold stuff for lunch. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh I try and I am surprised you sold that thing. I yanked that out of a uh, estate sale. Did you? And I paid a fortune to have that shipped to your store. And I thought you were gonna keep it there. I had no clue somebody would want it. I so neither did I, Bob, but uh some no, guy more, more. We're pretty... No. You sure? Up, way up over the agitator. Unless you want to just leave that. I can't think of anything else here. Actually, here, give me that one. And then any other... Is there something gray? These are pretty dark. No, no, I don't want to darken the water. Okay, all right. Well, I also still have this one shirt, too. Cool. I think that's... This is good. I, I'm kind of packing them down, Bob, so... No, you don't, you don't pack it down. Just leave it. Okay. Well, if I fluff them... You'll see. We'll yeah, if, if I fluff them up a little bit, it'll it's like over the agitator. Okay. If you guys want to buy my shirt, they're for sale. Got them in pink or gray, if pink's your thing. Anyways. Okay, so this one we're doing the 10 minute wash, hot wash, and here we go. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness, these are... These are dry. What is this spin at, Bob? It's a thousand, right? Eleven hundred? Eleven twenty-five. Eleven twenty-five. Wow. That's intense. Yeah. And they smell very well rinsed too. I can't believe it did such a large load. Like that's like really impressive. And we could have put more in there too. Like totally. 